Hello guys, I'm Zeph and welcome back to another video. Recently, I bought a set of paintbrushes from this company called Benisi. Um, you know, they're a nice set of paintbrushes and I really like them, so I left a good review on them. And this this company decided to send me another one of their products. They sent me these watercolor brush pens and I've never ever used watercolor before or brush pens so I mean in this video I'm just gonna like try them out and I guess it's gonna be a review video sort of so you know if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe to this channel if you are new um, and we'll get started inside the package you get a nice case that holds your um, watercolor brush pens and you also get a watercolor paper pad that comes with 12 sheets that you can use your brush pens on. Inside the case you have your watercolor brush pens and it comes with 25 different colors and also a brush pen that holds the water so you can you know get that watercolor effect or whatever I have no idea how to use these so I'm just like testing it out a little and see how like the color spreads when I put the water in I also watched some YouTube videos not that much so, but I just didn't want to be completely clueless when making this video. I'm gonna do a few little paintings just to like, you know, use them a little more before I do like a whole painting. I'll just start off with a small flower. And just a reminder, I have no idea how to use these and I am just trying things out right now. trying to do like a like a gradient I guess like where it gets lighter the more out from the center it goes so we'll see how that turns out try to do like a little gradient starting like with orange at the top and like pink and make it go lighter towards the bottom I don't know I'm just trying stuff out I think it's turning out pretty decent. Uh, it probably doesn't look that good on camera, but oh well. Now I'm gonna paint a cactus and I'm gonna try to add like some sort of shadow to it 
and I'm gonna just I'm painting like the edge where I want the shadow to be and then I'm gonna grab like the water brush and just you know take that paint and just spread it through the rest of the cactus so hopefully it looks and turns out how I want it But that's okay. Okay, so now that I got a little practice in and I painted a few small plants, I guess, I'm gonna do a whole landscape painting now. Um, I just looked up a video on YouTube and tried, like, kind of went off that. So yeah, if you want to see that video, I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, hopefully this turns out great and enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And that will be all for this video. Overall, I think they worked really well and I enjoyed painting with them and I will totally be using them again in the future. If you think you'll like them and want to try them out, I'll put the link to them in the description. And if you enjoyed, please like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace.